Hello everybody Finally Pinga has released two more double trailers for us that you can find on ATS, ATS mods uh, .lt This one is the first with uh, only one axle in front and one axle in the rear uh, the other double trailers uh, I'm going to do a video for Saturday this video is for Friday and the uh, video with the, the other ones the great day I think they, they are called uh, is scheduled for Saturday so let's take a look mm, they look pretty good lot of chrome I like the chrome So let's take the truck, couple the trailers and see how they run. By the way this beacon mode has been updated I think because in the last video i tried to use them but they were not working in the last video not in the last couple of months i always try to to use them but no no chance they were not working now they work very well Oh, there we go, perfect. So, here they are. Let me drive a little bit so we can see them better. They look very, very well.
The destination is Oxnard Chevron 180 miles is not so long so far away Very nice. Let me through. The engine sound is fro is as always from Creekbaum. I think it's a Cummins 355 horsepower or something like that. The gearbox is 13 speeds with retarder, hit and fuller. Everything else is original SCS truck. No other modes are added to this truck. I have already seen on the forum some negative negative comments regarding this this trailer and the other one from some users as this trailer is too big for the current state of the game the game is not adapted for this this large double trailers 
and that is true but I uh, I love these mods these trailers we will have to to use them like that until SCS we is going to do something we is, we is going to create other pickup and delivery points for adapted for longer and bigger trailers I don't have any problem with these trailers I find them great thanks to Pinga and all other models that are doing a great job with these trailers and yeah we will have to wait SCS to, to, to make a change in the game regarding this but until then we just gonna have to use them like they are and yeah it's a bit messy sometimes when not a lot of space on the pickup point and yeah just have to teleport uh, nearby or on another point and where where is a lot more space and that isn't supposed to be a problem if you want to use these trailers if you want to play the game 100% uh, how it should be played then yeah, it's, they are not adapted or the game is not adapted for these trailers Let's take a screenshot for the video thumbnail. These trailers are very, very, very good. Very nice indeed. Mm -hmm. Let's take one from here and one from the back. okay like that perfect the skin is also original one from the game that comes with the truck itself Oxnard Oxnard is straight ahead I got lots of these trailer skin Penske to make videos with and track skins. Uh, they are they look just great. Yellow and as I said I have skins for for the truck and uh, different trailers for the double trailers, normal trailers and short trailers with just one axle. Uh, I think I will do it for the next week Oop. Seventy nine miles. I hope the delivery point is not too. Oh my god, okay. 
it's not too complicated with the double trailers all the delivery points are okay and I had no problems leaving the trailers but with the other ones with the I forgot what's, what was the name with, with triples and the other ones I had lots of problems the delivery point is way over the the, the, the fence from the company so there is no way you can deliver it even if you teleport you will teleport on top of the fence and you will get damaged and everything so yeah but as I said the game is not fully adapted for 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 this type of, of trailers we are just gonna have to wait and play it as it is and it's great until now really great Okay, we have to take this exit. Use the check brake downhill. Better, uh, better. Uh, if not, the brakes will will overheat and damage. This one, this one is the trailer I told you about. I told you about. Oh, almost made a crash. The voice sound would be even better if I if I edit my videos. I I recorded myself with Audacity and the voice is even better. The sound is 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 a uh, hundred times better as with uh, Nvidia Shadowplay. But but I I do not uh, edit my videos and or render my videos. This is raw footage that I record with NVIDIA Shadowplay, that is what I love uh, from NVIDIA, NVIDIA cards, that's why I bought an NVIDIA card, they are just great. This NVIDIA Shadowplay is making the my job a lot easier. Uh, when I used to have an 8... 8... Uh, Yes, it was the AMD 80 uh, 7990 ZX gigabytes uh, was I needed an entire day in order to record, edit and render a long video, one hour video or something like that. Now with Nvidia Shadowplay with is it's just the 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 recording time 20 30 minutes one hour and then upload it now i have even better uh, internet speed even better uploads time and that's why i do not edit my videos and yeah the sound has to be has to be the original from nvidia shadowplay 
it is nothing I can do about that. Let's hope they are going to do it better, the software. And Okay, we are here. Delivery point seems to be on the right side. Let's kill the beacons. Okay. Let's see. Okay, that is the delivery point. Hmm. Okay. I think that is great. First trailer is ready let's hope the second trailer is also yes ready for unloading lights off handbrake engine off okay looks nice Excellent. We had no problem. Everything went very well. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow for the second video with the second double trailers. Which they are better. They are bigger. They are the Great Dane but in double. Thanks you for, thank you for watching.